Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, I am going to be getting my fourth tattoo. If you haven't seen my last video of me getting a tattoo, then I will leave it up here. I got a cat on the back of my shoulder and it wasn't too painful or anything, but the, that whole video will explain everything. Today, I am gonna be getting a sternum tattoo, which goes just in between your boobs here, obviously on your sternum. I'm very nervous because I think it's gonna hurt quite a lot and the tattoos that I've had haven't hurt that much. Like they've been quite sore, but nothing too bad. So I'm quite nervous. I was looking through a few designs to choose and I'll show you a few of the designs that I looked at before I got it. On the screen I'll put it somewhere because usually whenever I point it doesn't even let me do it. I'll put on the screen the first design, then the second design, then the third design. I'm fully aware that obviously like I said in my last tattoo video people have different opinions on tattoos. I personally love them. I also obviously love mine because I've got them on my body. If you don't like the ones that I have or if you don't like this one, that's absolutely fine. It's on my body. I know that some people think that they should have a meaning. I have two that have a meaning and I'm about to have two that don't have a meaning. So it's just preference. The place that I'm going to be getting it done is called Absolute Ink. It's near Reading. So unfortunately, all of my lift bailed on me because I can't drive by myself. So I'm getting the train. Obviously not an issue. I don't know if I'll be allowed to film in the studio because they did actually say don't bring anybody. So I don't know. So even if I did get left, I wouldn't be able to take them in with me. So I'll see what I can film. We'll be back when I've got the tattoo. I'm quite nervous, but I'm just going to get it over and done with. And then hopefully it'll be all right. I also did just want to really quickly say that also because of the location on my body where I'm getting it done, I probably wouldn't have been able to film inside anyway, obviously with... YouTube doesn't really allow nudity on here, so I'll show you when I'm back. I think that's everything I had to say for this intro, so I will see you when I am back. been trying for the last like 10 minutes to think of what the easiest way is going to be to show the tattoo without fully getting my boobs out on YouTube. I've got this little bralette thing on. Obviously you can see I've still got the plaster here. It's very 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 small. The tattoo isn't big at all but um I've had this on for easily an hour now. I've just got back so I thought I'd show the tattoo and then explain my experience so I'm gonna go ahead and take the plaster off and then I'll be back. Okay I've zoomed in slightly and this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been to film myself. This is the tattoo, this is the only way that I can show it without being too inappropriate or showing too much. Uh, go ahead and cover that back up now so I'm comfortable. Now that you've seen the tattoo, I thought I would explain the process and the experience and everything. I've never been to the tattoo place that I went to so obviously it was new to me. I've inserted some footage of what that was like. The lady who did it, I'm pretty sure her name is Georgie. I'm really sorry if I've got that wrong but I'm pretty sure it is. A link down there the place that I got it done and then the at name of her, I think it's Georgie. Very, very welcomed when I got there. All I had to do was sign some stuff. Obviously I'm 21, so I don't need parents' permission or anything. I just had to sign some stuff. They took my temperature, I had to wear a face mask because of COVID. And then when I went in, she had asked me if it was my first tattoo and I explained that I'd had them before. So she just asked me if I had aftercare and everything, which I do. Because obviously where it is, it's quite awkward. So I did have a bra on when I went and she, she offered me to put some plasters just over my nipples basically, just so that I wasn't completely sat there naked but it was a woman doing it did make me feel already a lot more comfortable when i say <laughs> that the pain i don't know if i just have a really low pain threshold or what it was i think it might be, be the area that it was done that was the most painful tattoo i've ever had and i've only had four so and the other ones have been on quite painful areas but i think because there's like very little skin it's not very thick there it was really sore this may sound so dramatic but i'm pretty sure a tear came out of my eye and thank goodness for face masks because i was pulling some really awful faces she was doing it and i kind of she asked me to tilt my head to the side just to make it easier for her and 
Oh my god, it was it was very painful. Obviously, it's not it's not her fault. It's got nothing to do with her. Very painful. I'm happy with it though, so it was definitely worth the pain. Obviously, it's not a massive tattoo, so she sort of before as well. She set out the design that I'd sent her with a quote, and she then just said, "Is this fine?" And then she put it on, and then I'm I'm so awful at explaining things. She put the tattoo on, asked me if it was okay. I moved it around twice, I think, or once. I think that's all I have to say in terms of reviewing it. I would definitely get another tattoo there again. I think that the staff were really welcoming. But yeah, that was my experience with the tattoo. I think that's everything I have to say for this video. So obviously I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I don't have a video next week because I'm going camping with some of mine and Max's friends and Max, obviously. There will be a very exciting video coming the week after. So please subscribe so you see that. The tattoo experience. I'll put a picture just here of the tattoo so you can see it a bit better. And I will also link down below the link to the tattoo that I found. It's not one that I do myself. I found it on the internet. I think that is everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.